Hi, this is Thomas Wood with MicroQuant. Once again, we're going to be taking a look at the Value Charts Live Trading Room Trades of the Day for March 26th, 2013. We were actually down slightly for the day, although some of the, or actually many of the traders in the trading room were up for the day. I personally was down. But what we're going to do is highlight a couple of the best trades that we had for the day. Um, these weren't all of them but these are some of the best ones that we had. The first one is going to be gold on a 30 minute chart. We had a few different opportunities for scalps in gold off of a trend line that we had drawn connecting the highs from yesterday all the way down through all the highs for today. And we had shorts here off of this overvalued price point right up near that trend line. And then again here, then again here. And each one you were up a couple hundred dollars a contract at a time. So not bad for scalping if you're just doing day trading. We had a lot of volatility today in the markets, but not a lot of follow through, a lot of movement. So the next one we'll take a look at is natural gas. We had a short, this is one of the very first trades of the day, a short in natural gas off of this 240 minute trend line retest where we broke through it yesterday, came back up and hit that trend line and were moderately overvalued right there. And then that ended up selling off from 3.945 all the way down to a low of 3.89, so about 55 ticks or $550 a contract. Not a bad move there. Uh, we also had some pretty good shorts in copper and in a couple other markets as well. Uh, the last one that we'll point out is RBOB. We had RBOB, we were looking at RBOB, we said we have a bearish divergence on a 15 minute chart, so we're looking to go short. And then what we did is we waited until the momentum rolled over where we had a downtrending market according to MQ regression, which is the red and green line, and MQ trend, which are the red and green dots. Once it shifted to a downtrend, we went short. That market ended up selling off very nicely from 3.725 roughly, where it rolled over, all the way down to a low of 3.50. So basically uh, 200 and some odd ticks. Not a bad move, about 275 ticks which equals out to almost $1,000 a contract. We also had additional entry points that we pointed out while this market was trending down for both pyramiding and for getting in if you missed the initial entry, where it popped up into overvalued here, here, and then again down here, uh, until this trend started chopping up and came to a very rapid close where it just got started getting really choppy and harder to trade, no longer trending. So those are the live trading room trades of the day. Actually, we were down, so this is our fifth down day in the past 19 weeks. Not bad, in my opinion. That's all I have for today, so until next time, happy trading.